Hey Taurus, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for April 11th through the 17th of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. All right, Taurus, so last week we had a new moon and that was some new beginnings in your 11th house of your ideals. Um, so now a lot of energy still with that, of course, because you still got the sun in that 11th, you still got your ruler Venus here. So still an excellent week to think about your future plans, your ideals in life. For some of you, maybe community, groups, friends, those types of things, which are sometimes the manifestation of the 11th. Others might be more introverted in your progressive nature, innovative ideas, and again, those hopes and wishes for the future. So good areas for you to gain energy here. And those are also things you can enjoy again with Venus. And um, with this first quarter phase of the lunar cycle, taking action towards a lot of these new insights that you have had from the second half of last week or since then in terms of what you can cultivate what inspires you about the future unfoldments of things so within that context mercury is actually going to be forming some very nice aspects this week <clears throat> in fact the uh, transit graph looks pretty good of course there's always challenges and, and easy energies all the time uh, in life but uh, the collective energies are certainly supportive this week so in terms of this, on Tuesday, we start with um, your ruler trining up to Mars, which is quite nice. So you guys could be feeling quite direct, quite assertive this week, maybe with those relationships, because you guys have had Mars in your seventh, probably been more direct with relationships, maybe taking care of things like on a deep level with intimacy and opening up, which is always important for you anyways, because Scorpio is associated with your seventh house. A lot of you guys are reflecting on relationships and redoing, restructuring things in that department with Saturn retrograde. Mars is going to go retrograde at the end of the week, which I'll talk more about. So there is a continued reflection about your relationships, about asserting yourself through relationships, your independence in many ways. And uh, this early part of the week, though, you guys could have that deep connection, that deep intimacy, that openness that directness that could be directly supporting who you are and whatever it is you're involved with. So it's very nice to have Mars turning the ruler like this, especially for taking action, getting motivated, setting goals. And that could be directly proportional to your routine as well, since Venus rules your six, maybe active in, in that area. And you can even find maybe you're enjoying <clears throat> those relationships and maybe even enjoying some of that easygoingness and alone time since Mars rules your 12th. Now in terms of that alone time stuff, like I said, Mercury's uh, forming some very nice aspects and he's been in your 12th. So you guys probably have been thinking more in terms of the deeper aspects of your spiritual self, how you can go with the flow with the mind, accept the mind, be aware of the mind from the present moment, maybe take care of daily activities, daily routines in a way that you're connected to presence, maybe working behind the scenes a little bit, resting the mind, maybe even doing some journaling, some automatic writing, some dream dream journaling could be good as well with Mercury here. But in either case, Mercury forming these nice aspects to start here on Tuesday as well with a sextile up to Neptune. So this is a very insightful week and this is the kind of insight for you particularly that's on a very intuitive and perhaps even unconscious level. It's with your spiritual self in many ways, especially early in the week with a sextile from Neptune but it's through that that intuitive connection, that present moment connection, you might gain some insights about your career, about where you can have more of that givingness, right? The, the Neptune, the, the 10th, has been showing you the real soul food of when you're giving through your work. or so, It's something that's meaningful to you in some sense or to the world. And so that's directly supporting this. There could be some insights about both areas maybe in regards to your career, maybe also in regards to your spirituality, in terms of where you can find that peace in your life. So very nice there. Mercury does rule your second and your fifth. So those two key areas are going to be highlighted this week as well. Your second house is the house of your sense of self-worth, your self-value, right? your material finances even on an external level. So all of that's getting some nice aspects this week. In the early part, maybe easygoingness about it, serendipity, or actualizing dreams with it too. Now in terms of the fifth house, this is your self-expression. Maybe there's a bit of an easygoingness with that this early part of the week. Maybe for the more creative, lighthearted, and playful attitude of life. 
again, perhaps behind the scenes, maybe getting that alone time, that meditative time, which is that 12th house. Now, midweek, Mercury starts to form a grand trine, which is actually very nice starting here on Thursday. And so on Thursday, it's going to be the trine up to Jupiter. And this has been a Jupiter retrograde in your fourth house, helping you learn more about matters relating to home, family, <clears throat> your past, your roots, your health even. And so those could be good areas this week, some good insights again. And this could be, uh, you know, seeing what's possible with that. And again, how that's directly related to your, your peace, your spiritual peace. All right. And so when things are good on the home front or with your foundations in life, such as with your health or with family, it directly supports this peace of mind. Now, likewise, later over the weekend, Mercury is going to trine up to Pluto. So this is very deep, but in a very good way. In fact, it's very good for, for through the depth, through going deep with the self. A lot of doors open up, a lot of new ideas, a lot of new possibilities. And here, what's directly supporting you is all this transformation that's been occurring with your intimacies in life, with even on a more challenging side, your, your attachments in life, letting go of old belief systems, old habit patterns, has been, been being stripped away with Pluto in the eighth house, unhealthy ones. And so this, this depth that you've been developing is directly supporting, again, that peace of mind, that spiritual time or whatever it is you're working on behind the scenes here. All right, so very good. And again, since Mercury rules your second and your fifth, you could find those insights and possibilities and, de and, and depth about your sense of self-worth, your confidence perhaps, your values the material side of things, and again, that inner child, that self-expression, which is Mercury ruling your fifth. So along with that trend from Pluto going exactly over the weekend, that Mars is going to go retrograde. So again, there is that reflection on relationships for about the next three months. It's all the way until June 29th. So good time. You've, I think, already been doing that with Saturn retrograde, but here, perhaps how you're asserting yourself here about the importance of independence in relationships, etc., Pluto goes retrograde around the same time going into next week. So reflecting on intimacy, reflecting on those deeper connections, what really matters to you in life, how to remove unhealthy attachments, unhealthy bonds, debts for some of you. And again, those old habit patterns. All right. So Taurus, I hope you guys have an excellent week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week.